Math Dad here with Science Mom, ready for challenge problem number 26. This problem involves tiling a little grid. So I have these dominoes that are either one by one or one by two. And okay. I want to know in how many different ways can we use those dominoes to tile a one by eight grid? But to, to really make, help you understand the problem, I'm going to do a few examples with you. Okay. Okay. So if I have a one by one grid, there's only one way to tile that. Correct. So in that box, we just put a one. Okay. What if I had a one by two grid? How many ways could we tile that? Two different ways. You can either use two blue ones or one green one. Uh, that's right. We can either use one green or two blues. So not a lot of mystery there. Okay, but what if it's a one by three grid? Ooh, well, now I need to know if the arrangement matters. Like, am I only concerned with how many blocks I'm using, or does their order matter? O order's going to matter here. Okay. So in this case, you can do the green-blue, and that's going to be different oops, than blue-green. Okay, or you could do all blue. Or all blue. And those, so, three different ways. So there are three different ways. Agreed. Okay. And this is going to continue on until you're up to a 1 by 8 grid. And that's the one that I'm, I'm specifically asking about. So I guess you could ignore it and try to brute force it, or my recommendation was to work your way up to it. Okay. But I'm curious. So you want me to answer how many ways can we tile a 1 by 8 grid? Mm -hmm. Using uh, only these one by one dominoes or one by two find, dominoes. Find a pattern for any one times n grid. All right, I'm on it. How much time do I get? Oh yeah, I'm going to put three minutes on the clock. Okay. And if you're watching, don't forget to pause the video and give it a try yourself. Begin. All righty. So I'm guessing that it'll it's to my advantage to work through all of these, not just skip right to the one by eight. Agreed. Um, and if I skip to the one by eight, it doesn't give me the picture either, and I want the picture. Okay. Uh, so for four, I can do all blue, so that's one way. I can do all green, that's another way. Or I could do one green and two blues, and I need to figure out, whoops, how many ways can I arrange those. So I have two ways so far, that's a third way. This is a fourth way, and then this is a fifth way. Did I get them all? Good, yes. Okay. Um, and then if I have five, let's see, maybe it's easier now if I start with one tile. The tile can be here. That's one way. That's the second way. And the blank ones are filled in with blues. Mm -hmm. Third way, fourth way, or I can have two greens. Fifth way, sixth way, seventh way. I didn't miss anything, right? Okay. Or I could have all blues. And that's the eighth way. Yes. Did I get them all? Agreed. Okay. Yes. And now a one by six. Okay, they could all be blue. That's one way to do it. And since we're back to even numbers, they could all be green. That's another way to do it. But then I'm going to have a certain number of with just two green tiles and a certain number with just one green tiles. And now it's getting... Eh, I'm kind of nervous that I'm going to miss some. I need like scratch paper. Actually, what I really need is that 1 by n formula. If I could figure out what the 1 by n formula <laughs> was, then I wouldn't have to be worrying about missing some of them. Uh, one minute left. Oh, man. Nuts. Okay, all blue is one. All green is one. And then with two green, I can have them here. I can scoot them down and have the two split up. I can scoot that one down there. Oh, well, I lost track. One, two, three, four, five six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve? You actually missed one when you had the two green. I missed one. Ah! So there there are thirteen for this one. That's, that's correct. There are thirteen. This kind of feels like cheating. Um, <laughs> with you confirming that there are thirteen in that one. Uh, okay. And now one by seven. All right, I have 19 seconds left. I'm going to try and figure out. So with one tile, I get one. With two tiles, I get two. With three, I get three. With four, I get five. So is there like one times n divided You're going to need to guess an answer. by n minus n? Oh, that's time. You want to throw a number in there real fast? Where was my beep? 
I didn't have a beat. I'm sorry, I have the sound turned off. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna guess it's like bigger than bigger than than 13 by quite a bit. Let's say, let's say it's double 13. Let's say it's 26. All right, it's a, it's a guess. It's, it's not, a guess. Not, not, it's not right. No. But <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna help you figure this out. And it turns out it's actually a pretty famous sequence. <gasps> It's a, it's a Fibonacci. It is. It's the Fibonacci sequence. So maybe I'll let you fill it in. Okay. So 1 plus 2 is 3. 2 plus 3 is 5. 5 plus 8 is 13. 8 plus 13 is 21. And 13 plus 21 is 34. 34 is correct. There are 34 different ways to tile in a 1 by 8 grid using either 1 by 1 dominoes or 1 by 2 dominoes. That's a lot of ways to tile. It is. Yeah, if you were trying to like figure those all out by moving the tiles, it would... Yeah, yeah. Br brute force would not be your friend on this problem, I think. You know, no. It would really take quite a while to make sure you got all the cases. But the real question is, why are the Fibonacci numbers showing up on a problem of domino tilings? That's what I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Like, why that pattern? And how do you write that pattern out with the 1 by n? Can we do that at the end? T t tell me why first. Okay. Well, the, if you want an exact formula, it exists, but it's ugly. Okay, well tell me it, why. It involves first. like 1 plus square root of 5 all over 2, and you're raising that to the nth power, and then you're plus and 1 minus square root of 5 over 2 raised to the nth power. And, yeah, I wouldn't come up with that. And there might be another square root of 5 in the denominator somewhere. Yeah, it, it, it ends <laughs> up being really ugly. Okay, so where are the Fibonacci numbers coming from? Well, let's just look at the very last piece. It can either be green mm -hmm. or it can be blue. So let's look at the case where the last one is green. How many open spaces are there? How many squares do I have to fill? Six. And how many ways can I fill those six squares? Oh, eight different ways. Uh, no, uh, or, sorry, was 13. Th 13. Yeah, 13 different ways. Exactly. And that's straight from our column over here. Yeah. All right. Or the last one could have been a blue. And in that case, there are seven. Seven empty squares, and the number of ways of tiling those seven would be? 21. 21. So that was, those happen to be the two numbers that showed up exactly ahead of the number we're after. We add those together, and that gives us our 34. That's really cool. That's where the Fibonacci numbers come into play here. It's definitely one of the harder problems I've given you, especially in only three minutes, but oh, it was like so it. cool I, I couldn't resist. <laughs> I liked it.